Hello guys, welcome to Jess Graphic Design. Today's tutorial, I will show you guys how to make use of the Bezier tool. So, in my own definition, I will define the Bezier tool as a tool in Pixel Lab that you use to make curves or other any other irregular shapes that you can't find anywhere around here any other shapes or things you can see here you can use the bezier tool to do that you can use the bezier tool to make layout designs of your flyers banners posters and much more so i will show you the basic steps on what to do when making use of the bezier tool so this is the Bezier tool and um, firstly let me start by, by explaining these three things you have here all right so this one so this one is um used to move your design move it um, from a particular place to another and then this one is used to change to make your curve to make your designs to any kind of design you want any kind of shapes or curve you want to make and then all these the um the white pointed arrow is used to change the directions the angle of your design Alright, so this one is used when you want to add extra points to your designs. Maybe you want to make um, a design that, ha that requires more than two dots. When I mean dot, I mean stump, something like this and this, this and um, this. So right here you can with this um symbol you can click here just touch anywhere at the um design area and another um points or another dot will appear so that's for that so now you have um you have four points of designs. Four points. You don't actually know what I'm designing, but that's the function of that icon. All right. Okay. Let me see. Let me make curve shape like this one. So, from here you can see something like this. This first one here with the plus icon, this one is used to eliminate the dots. As you can see, it takes away the dots. And then with this one, you can add it, add another dot to your designs. As you can see. You can add so many dots as you want depending on what you're designing. So then the one next to it is um used to combine your lines together. Something like this. So that's the function of this one. If you don't want to combine, you release it and then see. So I want to combine it, so let's be this way. Okay, maybe I'm making this kind of stuff. As 
you can see playing around with it to make a reasonable stuff maybe i'm designing eight okay let me make eight as you can see it requires up to four dots so that is the function for this three and then we have this one this one is used to reduce or increase the size of your drawings so let me leave it at this size and then this one is the last one is to rotate your designs rotate rotate yeah so oh sorry so that was the function of that one all right so uh, we come back to this one above so let's continue the opacity opacity is um used um if you want to fill up maybe you want to fill fill up your stuff as you can see you can fill it up that was the work of the opacity and then here you can change your stuff to any color any color of your choice okay let me choose pink i like pink all right so the stroke is the edges outside so you can increase or decrease the stroke the stroke and then this is for the edges if you want it to be smooth or square type and then this opacity um is for the stroke too and that's make it um light thick blur the rest so that's the work of this also you can change the color of this one actually change let me use white any color stroke let me reduce it to yeah this level that's that's that and then this one here copy just if you want to copy your stuff make another make another shape I want to copy that the function of this one and then these two um um arrow here this one is used to go back to your first maybe you want to edit the first one you make use of this and then you want to edit this as you can see i can edit this right now as you can see yes so that's the function of this and then if i want to go back to this i can then press this and then i'm back so and then i can edit and do whatever i want to do so that's that's for the bezier tool you can actually use it to design a complete logo in a professional way depending on how good you are so just play around with it i just made a simple logo so just um play around with it try to get used to, try to master it try to get used to it try using it to make something good so that's that um i won't save it because i won't be needing it so just have to cancel so um the next part is the masking tape the masking tape is um, a kind of similar to the bezel too but um slightly different so um to use the masking tape you just have to bring out a shape that maybe you want to mask you want to cut you want to close so let me use a um, square okay let me use the square shape okay as you can see the masking tape has appeared similar to the bezel too so this masking tape and the, sorry i said masking tape masking um icon so let me start with the inner outs the in means um is if you want to um mask the um, 
that side and then out you want to mask us and then in you want to mask the inside so that's um that's it then um similar to the bezier this tool is used to move it around so you can see move around move around move around and then let me see um i want to max the outside let me go back to the inside so and then this one here too is um similar with the other one is used to change the angles um, play, um max the stuff okay let me um make an x from this um from this square as you can see you can decide to max the outside or the inside this way and then similar to the other one this one is used to reduce the dots actually call it dots and then this one is used to add then if you want to reduce to reduce then you reduce more and then this one here is used to increase reduce increase yeah and then this one to rotate whatever direction okay let me max um that one let me try to mask it with um, an s shape all right so we've been needing just um two dots i think two dots we do or three dots so let me add one more dot so and then you move it around so as you can see trying to make this look make the top of this um look like an s shape an s curve so you can see that So that's for that and then out in as you can see i've um maxed the um top of this um square with an s also this one above here you can use it to copy just like we did earlier and then we'll move maybe let me move it this way so i can also decide um to max inside again they will have another design right here so okay let me make use of this so that's it the difference here also is that you can't change the colors and um, the opacity from by using the mask tape the mask tape just masks just gives and uh, marks the shape you're using so i can actually decide to edit the first one then i go back and then Try to edit it like this. So that's it for the masking um, icon, not tape, sorry. So there is not that perfect with this. You can actually use it for your designs. Maybe you want to make something like this. Can you see that? So it's nice. Thanks for watching this. Um, if it is if it helped you or if it didn't help please subscribe to my channel thank you